Information shows that more Jamaicans are leaving their marriages. Now, if both of you are on the same page and saying that, boy, I don't want to get married and marriage is just not for us, that's fine. But if there is one party, and it's usually the female, who wants to, you know, get married and, you know, have that union, okay, what what, are, what exactly are you waiting on? Because I never really see nobody going to like care mark and then give the care for drive for one ear and then make up your mind. I say, you know something about I want it, may I carry it back? Yeah, you know, said so a range over here. I really like how the gas pedal feel. I really like how the seed feel here, sir. After you drive it out for one ear, drop it in a pot hole, rev it out, do all you want, do scratch it, dent it, then you carry it back. At a certain age and stage in your life, you get a little spin, you get a little test drive, you know, like, okay, let's go up the road, down the road, and right back to the dealership, right? That's how it goes. And then you decide if you're going to buy it or not. I've never really seen a temporary worker getting permanent benefits. If you're a temp at a company, you might get a lunch ticket, you know, you might be able to sit in the cafeteria, but you're not getting paid vacations. You're not getting any kind of extra, you know, insurance card to go do your eyes and teeth and dentist and ophthalmologist. You don't get all that type of perks as a temporary worker. So I'm saying that, right? If it is that you don't want to get married again, it's fine. Marriage is not for everyone. But my thing is, why am I doing a life sentence stretch with you? And you've, and, and as I say again, it's not like you have to remember. When Jesus said, let there be light, you nearly turned on the switch. So what it is, what you're looking for, you understand? You're searching like, Julia got a door, door. I want to know what it is. After me, you sit down right there, so I do a whole decade with you, sir. Mm -hmm. what, what, uh, what, what else do you need for proof again? Because people got prison for 10 years, you understand? So I just want to know. I don't know. Right, but hey, if that's what floats your boat, let it float on, float on, okay? Yes, so I know that's, that ain't floating my boat, so I can't do all that stuff um, right there. But I guess, you know, yeah, so the divorce, yeah, Takelika, what do you think is the reason that's causing divorces in 2021? Jermaine, what do you think are some of the leading, or is the leading reason why people are getting divorced? Martina, what is the reason people are getting divorced nowadays i think they get married for the wrong reasons what are some of the wrong reasons to get married maybe some people have a perception that marriage is a must mm -hmm. where them just in, are in, in this instance are females who believe that they should get married yes and then the man now just agree because mm. the female says so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i never genuinely really want to do it from sure. the heart true, true. So sometimes it really play out that way. True. So some men may feel pressured into, yes, pressured into, marriage. into marriage. Okay. And okay. Just go along with it. Okay. Have a peaceful life. Okay. <laughs> but the, but in that case, Calico, my thing is, if the woman is stressing you, then right to use your you know yeah. analogy, if a woman is stressing a man to get married and he is not ready or he does not want to marry her, because I've also found that sometimes it's not that the man is not ready, he just doesn't want to get married to her. True that as well. It's not that the man don't ready, he just don't want to marry you. Because I've heard of persons, known of people, who have been with their partners for 10 years and 15 years. And as him left or so, him go marry the other person. Why? Why? What, what would have caused that? So I'm saying, if it is that a man thinks like he's being pressured into marriage, why doesn't he just leave the woman? Why don't he just leave? Yeah, he could, he could just say, you know what? Well, since you want to get married, I don't want to get married. Let's just call it, you know, a day and have a great day. Bye. Why, why, why do men do that? And then almost as if blame the woman, as she forced me, as she forced me, as she, po when, re when in reality, in my humble opinion, nobody can really force you to do what you really don't want to do. So if you really and truly don't see yourself with this woman for the rest of your life, don't see yourself with this woman, you know, why, why don't men just say, no, I don't want to get married to you. You know what? Since it's so important to you, like how the news is important to Stevie Ann, what I'm going to do is just let's break up the relationship and you go your way and I go mine. Like all right that sounds like a plan it sounds like a plan that i'm going to go to the news and then when we come back we're going to go to couples court and we're still asking the question what is the reason or what are the reasons why people are getting divorced right now mm -hmm. people get trapped into marriages like that men yeah. like so we'll get married, we'll get married. We'll get married. And, you know, no but how how, how do how, okay how does a woman trap you if you don't want to be trapped trap your home because i'm saying calico if for example all right so, all right let me use eden right when my dad lost school, 
any baby, no, no baby argument can come up right now, and a marriage argument can come up right now. Come here, focus on school, I'm here, focus on this. So, if you want a child that badly, or you want to get married, sir, big up yourself, I'm just gonna have to leave it right here. Yes. But, Calico, if they do it in the public, but I'm just saying, yeah, if it does, he's got to share my family, cause. but then you, you people, my sister, would not married none at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think money is also a reason why a lot of people are getting divorced. People get laid off, lifestyle oh. can't be maintained. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, lifestyle can't be maintained. Yeah. You can't go shopping and there's no vacationing or whatever because jobs you scale down. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, Martina, I know that you alright, so scaling down can cause a lot of discomfort, especially when you used to living at a certain level or whatever. But at the same time, for divorce your partner, you get me? Yeah, that divorce drastic, you know. It, 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 you know, but I understand, you know. But my what I mean I like is you get married to the person, it never have it for money, or she never have it for money. You meet this person, you have no ambition, I have certain qualities, and then you expect the marriage is gonna change it. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. They weren't clean before, they're not gonna be clean now. They're not Thank you. Thank you. Couple getting divorced. Uh, the article uh, suggested that you know, 1,220 divorce applications have been made. Uh, the persons on Twitter were saying that the numbers are actually lower for this year and last year, as in 20, as opposed to 2019. But we're talking about why is it, or what are the reasons for which people are divorcing? Calico mentioned that some men are trapped or forced or feel that they're trapped and forced uh, into getting married but my question calico is how do you you know as a man allow that to happen because if it is that you don't want to do something you are going to or should say so because if you can't have the hard conversations, then you're going to have a hard life. I do understand that not everybody may know how to broach a topic but something like a marriage calico that is a big step. So if you do step yes, yeah. But there are some men just don't know how to come across the right way to say I'm not ready yet. So and, and okay, so my question to Calico is, all right, how uh, generally speaking, how long does it take for a man to be ready? I don't know. It's a mindset. Okay. Cause me, I say, all right, and and why would you want to be with somebody for a prolonged period of time who you who you don't want to marry? That's a different story. Right? So no. Yeah, because I'm saying, if you're with somebody and you don't want to get married to them, it's fine, no problem. So free up the person and let them go. And if the person is, quote unquote, harping on you or, you know, sticking you up then, you know, holding you at, you know, a figurative gunpoint, right? Shotgun wedding type of thing. And you're not into it. Why commit to it and then complain? And you have people who believe that if you get married, your life going to change completely. Like change for the worse? Maybe. You have people have that perception. Okay. Like if you get married, like things not going to be the same. Um, the, the, the girlfriend now go, now go do the same thing what she used to she do. Now make a juice. She does change. Is that that the typical thing people say? But who After you're married, the entire life change, the relationship change. You said they get better, they get worse than in that sense. But why though? I, I, no I who, what, what, I mean, what data do they have to support this type of mindset or, you know, ideology? I don't understand. Who are they watching? And I'm not saying that it can't happen, you know, because yeah. it does happen in some cases. And men will say that, you know, like, boy, you know, from she get the ring, yo, she just start move away. She not do the things them and you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm saying how many out of 10 couples, how many is that true for? You know what I mean? Yeah. So my thing is, and as we were saying before the break, sometimes you have men who they don't want to get married to that particular woman. So it's not that you're not ready for marriage. You're just not ready to marry her. Because if you found the right, per the quote unquote right person who, you know, make your heart go boom, titty, boom, titty, boom, you're fine through, you're married tomorrow. And sometimes kids are, the, are the, the, the reason why the relationship is continuing without marriage as well. Say again? Mom, children. Okay. Are the reason why they are, not, they are together but not married. Okay, so, so they're saying for the children. Yes, for the children. Oh, Jermaine, where's Jermaine? Jermaine, I, I want to hear Jermaine's point as to why he believes that people are divorcing right now. Martina made uh, the, uh, said money is a reason uh, persons are divorcing right now. Like more people are divorcing uh, because of money. 
Uh, and I can understand in terms of money. But all right, lots of people have lost their jobs. Persons have been made redundant. Persons' salaries have cut in many cases. And some people just have no jobs. But And I can understand if you're now living in a financially austere time where things are tight, right? And it's not what it used to be. But if it's not what it used to be, would it lead to divorce necessarily? Would it lead to divorce? Or can't we just, you know, I don't know, one way to talk little and see where I'm going? Some people make some harsh decisions and so I don't even know. Jermaine, hi, how are you? Welcome to Miss Kitty Live. How are you doing? Uh, I'm great. Lovely. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so Jermaine, come out of interview. Come out of interview. Jermaine, what is your reason, or what reason would you say a lot of people are getting divorced nowadays? Uh, well, I think that people just don't have reverence mm -hmm. for marriage, like um, back in the day with our um, grandparents mm -hmm. and, you know, those people in that time. Mm -hmm. You understand? I think that a lot of us, we... We do marriage, you know, for the optics, mm -hmm. for the views. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it doesn't last. Or maybe that, you know, someone thinks that, you know, they can, you know, get further ahead if they marry this person because they might have, mm. you know, the right type of financial backing. Or, mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I think sure. a, a lot of the reasons, are, it's, 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 it's very shallow. And it's that's shallow. why, yeah, and, mm. and that's why the marriages don't last. So a lot of, so, all right, based on what you're saying, so many persons are getting married, not for the marriage, but for the wedding to show that, okay, so Martina got married, Andrika got married, Taja got married, so okay, might mm -hmm. as well meet more I'm married too. Not necessarily because you're ready, but because mm -hmm. you want to show and be a part of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and also I think that, you know, a lot of people actually, they think about the ending of the marriage. Like, you know, um... If if anything go wrong, mm -hmm. you know, me can divorce this person and me get half a wherever I own. Mm -hmm. Or wherever she own. Mm -hmm. You understand? I was about to say that part too. Yeah. Because so, men be asking for half too. Thank you. Uh, Let yeah, me tell you. you know? <laughs> Hello. So, so it, yeah. it, it, it is a thing. You know? Yeah. And I think that because of those factors, you know, we're really having the decline that we're seeing in you know lasting marriages. You mm -hmm. know, we really have marriages where I go, you know, 30 odd years and then mm -hmm. again, you know, basically after all do like uh, maybe uh, five years or uh, mm -hmm. three years, you know, we split and we say, all right, we're single again. Mm -hmm. And I hate that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what I see. You yeah. Know? So, I'm not very optimistic, you know, when, you know, I personally think about marriage for myself. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Because I know that, you know, with all that's happening now, with all that is available to us, you know, in terms of technology, social mm -hmm. media, you know, you, you see somebody hotter every day and you're probably going to see somebody wealthier and and, you know, it might be a case where you say, oh, you know, Jeremy, I'm not in love with you no more. So let me take half a way off and go about this. <laughs> and by the way, half is not just the oh, they can just start to take half. You know, that can be varied. And just for the people who are thinking about marriage, please know that you could get a prenuptial agreement. Okay? No, but if you do prenup, then I'm a pre -up. Uh, well, well, if it's like, well, here I better have your pre me than me pre you. So here what? Let the pre up stay right there. Yeah. So you know that's fine. You can always pre me, but I want to secure my stuff. You know. No, but you know, in a reality, if 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 me as a man mm -hmm. comes to know and look upon all my woman and say, babes, you know. Sign the prenup yeah, and thing and thing. No, Shop. but you're not going to sign like that. She has to get an attorney to mm -hmm. go through it and read it and all of that. You have to okay. tell her to get legal representation. So you cannot just shoot on the prenup to her like that. No, obviously we don't, <laughs> yeah. we don't try disadvantage yeah. or anything yeah. like that. So, you know, we don't say to her, say, babes, you know, we don't want to do a prenuptial agreement to make sure. Say, you know, everybody protect. Yes, have, right. Know, just in case. But of, I think know. that's fair. Because, Jeremy, you know. if you have, say, for example, you have, uh, you know, a lot of, you inherited, say, two hotels. And you have, you know, mm -hmm. a business. And you have millions of dollars in the bank. And you're mm -hmm. meeting somebody now. Uh, and you want to protect your assets before you get into the marriage. I think that is a reasonable position. Yeah, you might think that is. But a lot of women won't think that. Okay. A lot of men won't think that. Oh, well, if they because they're going to believe that, hey... It's a love, so I think both say if we, we, we broke up, you understand what yeah. I say? And that's I think both. So you're not planning to Why you insure your car? That is true. You know what I mean? But why you have insurance? Everyone will think along the logical <laughs> line. And, and it's kind of hard to, you know, because 
you see, if you really look into it, it it's basically love mm -hmm. and you know business, really. Mm -hmm. Because you're but marriage, to... but marriage is a business contract as well. You know, it's a business. Because mm -hmm. remember, you know, you are t you're taking on this person to become one with them. You mm -hmm. have to also ensure that it is a wise decision because you mm -hmm. don't want anybody who's going to bring down your life, Jermaine, That's or anybody true. who's going to turn out to be an albatross around your neck. That's so true. it's marriage is not just about love. Marriage is also a business. We have to think about it. How viable we are together. How compatible are we together what kind of business how far we can reach together what we can do because when love go, when love go through the door when poverty come through the door love jumps through the window for some people you know yeah, what i mean right so you have to also think in, think in your mind i want to get married to this girl here okay what is she bringing to the table mm -hmm. how can she help to enhance my life mm -hmm. how can i enhance her life and how can we enhance each other you know what i mean yeah. so it's not just oh yeah man just love and love alone minister nobody up here for light bill with love mm -mm. nobody now go for price match with love alone for push out the trolley that, that nice. that's not it <laughs> so you know look, it's also a bit marriage is a business so you have to know what you're doing and mm -hmm. if it is that you feel like you have your assets and you want to protect them you can protect them and any reasonable person if i meet a man who has made it for himself and has definitely earned and amassed his wealth mm -hmm. without any contribution from me i don't think i deserve half of his stuff mm -hmm. i didn't send you to school but never paying a school fee for you i never invested in your business i came and i saw you with your stuff yeah. so why do i deserve half I, that is unreasonable yeah it, it, i it, i don't like that it is but you know when nobody come pray on my two people that top of them don't, hello a lot of people don't think like that because um you know i think that like in many um relationships when people go into it you know it's not usually balanced you know where you know in terms of finances you know mm -hmm. someone is probably you know yes. at the lower scale mm -hmm. so, more so than the other, yes. yeah so 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 in some sense you know like People are looking to to gain. Yeah, but, from, but, but my thing is money. Is, of, money a... money is not necessarily mm. uh, well. Money shouldn't be, in my view, the only thing that's taken into consideration because an individual mm. might be earning less than you, but then they come with other assets. They come with other attributes yeah. that can you know help to balance you, yeah. the person. You know what I mean? Yeah, I so that. I think it's a holistic view of it, and you have to make the assessment. But when I'm looking at it, I, you know, I've, oftentimes I've wondered because you know, and just to go back to what you said initially mm -hmm. about you know our grandparents and you know great grandparents, their reverence toward marriage and I think to myself wow you know marriages were lasting 30 years 20 years and 40 years mm -hmm. but sometimes I wonder was it lasting because they were happy because they wanted to be there or was it because at that time a lot of women did not have the autonomy to push out on their own and to have their own money and you know most of them were housewives and again the societal construct at mm -hmm. the time would look down on a woman who got divorced or if you don't have a husband something wrong with you or whatever mm -hmm. so I'm wondering is it that what were they happy or were they in tolerance mode um i would say it, it's it's a mixture mm -hmm. like um they were happy because a lot of women uh and a lot of men also they, they do get a real good feeling out of you know that type of unity that type yes. of bond the yes. family you know yes. raising the kids yes. there's beauty in it for yes. a lot of people you know so i think it's it's a thing where you know when issues arose they wanted to actually work them out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not like no where you know if you and the person have you know you have little sides in the yard, little, mm -hmm. some, little friend where are within in the WhatsApp there where you can mm -hmm. talk to and tell mm -hmm. them, you know what so the man now go and go the mm -hmm. man do them thing mm -hmm. where I look you. You yes. understand? So that wasn't there. You know mm -hmm. so those type of temptations weren't there back in the they day. They were there. You they know? were there. Grandpa used to walk <laughs> on the road and grandma went to that market. Yeah. I got a corn field. So yeah. Mm -hmm. well, not that too. But she bend down. She bend down and I walk. You know? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. To, me, to me, they were more willing to work it out. Okay. At that say. time. Mm -hmm. You know? Than mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. No, That's if you're, true, if you're yeah. not going good, you know, them say, yo, me I live in a man. Let, let, me, let me ask you, Jermaine. Do you mm -hmm. think that a lot of men or more men are being pressured into marriage? Yeah, I, I, I do believe that that is a thing that men are pressured, you know, worse if, you know, you, you, you've been with a woman, a woman for a certain amount of years. Mm -hmm. like, um, okay, how many years should a man date a woman before uh, he decides to marry her or she uh, introduces the argument of marriage? Well, I can't say there is a is, is a exact set time. Mm -hmm. It depends on the, the people in the relationship. So I well. couldn't say there is a uniform time mm -hmm. because that is the thing. That's, that's, that's what happened with a lot of people. They believe that, you know, five years gone, so... You know, after I do marriage, no, it's, yeah. it's about what you're ready for and what the other person in the relationship is ready for. Right, you right. Understand? So that's something that you guys have to discuss. So if if you feel like say, 
hey, you know, say at the right time now where things are supposed to go on, you discuss it with mm -hmm. them. But at the same time, you're not supposed to, of course, you're supposed to want to, to get the opinion of the other person and see, like, where where where's their, their Your head, yeah. yeah. So, at, Jermaine, know, like, particular time. so do you see yourself getting married? Well, if the right female comes <laughs> along. Uh, what, what is the right female? The right female? Yeah. Someone what are some attributes or characteristics? Some... Let's hear it. Maybe the right female is on my Instagram live. Maybe she's on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe she's on my Facebook my live. Friends. What would you say? <laughs> no, but I would say. What... <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is the right woman for Jermaine to say, yes, marriage is the thing? Um, a forward thinking type of, I'm looking at just jump and say marriage. I can't look and say at the first. Yeah. You know, we have to really get to know each other. Come yeah. really. Like, I can't see myself five years along the, down the line with a specific person. Yeah. We have to really get to know yeah. each other first. Yeah. You know, we know our mindset there, we know what we want. You understand? Okay. So, for me, I, I, I like forward thinking women, you yeah. know, and um, women who can look outside the box, mm -hmm. you know, because um, I have, you know, aspirations of my own and I would like to think that, you know, um, the person who, you know, I'm with they yes. have some of the sim um, same or similar goals right you know so we can work towards that you know because a lot of people they just feel like you know it's, it's just love yeah and so on when it comes to marriage it's not that yes lots of other ingredients to me a marriage is like a team yes you know what i mean you're the person a team up for, yeah. for, for you know for acquire yes the take on life yeah if you take on life yeah you understand so yeah. if you're not come if you're not looking to it from that perspective i think you, you, you're gone wrong yeah right? you start right. off on the wrong foot you to begin with the, on the wrong yeah. foot you yeah understand? it's a yeah. partnership yeah in everything yeah you know so that's that's how i look at it so for me, when I meet someone, you know, I like to check out and see the temperament and see, you know, what kind of person this person mm -hmm. is. Is, are, is their mindset that yes. what I'm looking for? Yes. You understand? Yes. So if, if it's not like that, you know, we, we can't be friends, we can't chill, yeah. you know, but, you know, I'm not going to necessarily... Go into the marriage. Uh, yeah. Who do you guys think uh, is the cause of most marriages to break up or cause divorce? The women or the men? Who is the biggest perpetrator? Or, you know, the problem, the cause of the problems, the issues, why marriages are, you know, going down the tubes, why there are more divorces now. I, I think both and are both equal. Sides. Yeah, it's, it's everybody. And Man out of his Man out of You know? <laughs> what, uh, tell me on both sides, Calico. Explain. <laughs> on both which side? Because it can be the female part, it can be the man part in terms of female mm. temperament level yeah but who is filing more divorces who who is filing more petition well i don't have that fact yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that information <laughs> who, you think, in who you think who you think is causing the problems in the relationship germane men or the women why I, I can't say I I think that you know a lot of people are very insecure, you know. Yeah. So you know, yeah. as 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 the man step out, you know, and gone cheat. As the woman step out, she gone cheat. You know, like some people them take up the the the, the, the person where them can't manage. You meet the girl and she dress hot. Mm -hmm. You understand? She in her short skirt, them and you know her tight up, tight up them. Mm -hmm. And as you and her, they are married now and thing and thing. You tell her say oh, we're from bag. Yeah, no, you them thing. Because the man them look by. Brother man, they look on her from before. That's how you her. saw her. You know what I mean? That's how you meet her. Yeah, and that's so, how he saw her. You know? like if she didn't have on the crocus bag, he probably wouldn't see her. <laughs> you probably yes. <laughs> yes. So, you know, insecurity is, 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 is a big factor when it comes to divorces, in my opinion. Yeah. You know? Um, so, yeah, I definitely think that is one yeah. of the reasons why, you know, contribute to, to a lot of divorce. not working. Right? Wow. I got to yeah. tell you, Jermaine and Calico today, <laughs> in-house counsel, I got to <laughs> tell you, they're moving from a court, coming at chambers, <laughs> like that, because, you know, uh, it's important. Damian, what do you think are the reasons uh, for divorces nowadays? Uh, you know, the reports are that there have been, uh, there has been an increase in the number of uh, divorces. Uh, before the court, uh, persons on Twitter were making the point that the numbers were actually higher in 2019. And based on what we've seen now in our reality, as Jermaine said earlier, marriages now last no 30 year, no 20 year, and no 35 year, and no 65 year. Them something sound like ancient days, something because right about. You, know, you can find out the ratio properly. Yeah. Find out who is doing the filing more.